scuba diving, COVID-19, coronavirus, whatever you want to call it. What can we do? everybody welcome back this channel is the dive guy my name is Chris and I am here to try to help you scuba dive and enjoy our sport of scuba diving at the same time if you like what I'm doing hit the like hit the subscribe button and let's get started so this week is gonna be kind of yeah I, I, I work in the hospital field so I understand the fears um, I see it every day when they come in uh, what I do in the ER is not as important as the nurses. I am an ER tech. I help support the nurses. Um, it just, but I have the same exposure limit a nurse or a doctor does in the emergency room. My wife does too because she is an emergency room lab tech. You don't know what that is? That's a phlebotomist. Those are the people that come in and get your blood. Oh, okay, guys, guys, guys. Scuba diving. And COVID-19. If you know somebody who has a boat, go diving. The deal is everybody's limiting their groups to 10 or less. Now, if you know, like if you've been to Rainbow Reef, they've got seven or eight boats at 10 or less. It's not really beneficial for them to run that kind of diesel. Whereas you go to Silent, Silent um, Adventures, they have a smaller boat that you can only put you can only put ten people on there, at the most. That boat is beneficial to run. Um, if you go to Emerald Coast, you'll see that the Aquanaut can maybe hold. Is it fifteen? I'm trying to think of all. I mean, it can hold a lot of people, but when you they rotate the tanks around, it's kind of like oh wow, we've actually moving a lot of people around and not not be crowded. But they make that look so easy. I mean, Anna and Tom and Nevin and Ray and all them have that mark. They all have that down to a professional point where that they make you getting in and out of the water look so easy. Whereas some places like, I'm sorry, but some places like Rainbow Reef, you go back to your spot, you sit in your boat, and you're all comfed up like this with somebody else next to you. Guys, six feet of separation is not a beneficial thing. It's, it's, it's not beneficial fuel-wise. It's not beneficial to go out and, and, and talk, I mean, to run your operation on a daily basis. So, that being said, I know Emerald Coast has shut down. Um, I think they said that the hotels and everything on the Florida Keys are no rooms for at least 30 days. That's what I was told. Don't quote me on this. Look on your websites, get everything by your own hands and by your own t tangent information. But this is March. Okay, so let's get this right. One, if you are tested for corona, coronavirus, you're going to be quarantined for at least two weeks. Two weeks, right? So if we can get all these people, if we can get all of these idiots to cycle through and get tested or do whatever they're going to do or quarantine themselves for at least 30 days, dude, dive season is open. Now, what can you do between now and then? Unfortunately, not much. You might be able to contact the dive shops. Um, they might let you come in and drop gear off as far as dropping it off at the door and them taking it in and getting it serviced. I know mine needs to be serviced and all my dive shops around me are closed. Just it's what we live with. Because everybody's looking for the here and now and not the three months down the road. That being said, my dive trips, unless people want to go, I'm going on my trips, but unless other people want to go, they really need to let people know. Um, what can we do now to help our fellow dive shops? 
unfortunately, now nothing. Here we go. Make a commitment to support our dive shops when they reopen because they're going to need our business. They have people on their payroll not getting paid right now. I mean, bills are suffering. Yeah, of course, the dive shop's bill is suffering too. But Ray is not teaching anybody, so therefore, he has no income coming in. Um, Anna is not teaching kids, so they have no income coming in. They have no stream to come through. June over at the dive shop, they have no income coming in because everything's closed. So as quick as we can, we need to support our dive shops. We need to go diving. If you have a boat, great. You should still go support the dive shops. What's good about this? Well, there's nobody out there beating up our reefs except for fishermen. There's nobody out there beating up our reefs. Uh, we have no scuba divers out there, inexperienced scuba divers, bumping up against the reefs. The unfortunate thing, and I hope we can work this and do this, we are going to need to double down on the lionfish population. I mean, come on, they populate fast. And we are going to have to double down on that really, 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 really hardcore. Um, I just... Oh, I don't know how to do it. I don't know how to, uh, we, some kind of lionfish tournament where we go out there and we knock them out. I mean, I know in Destin, we could go down there and you can catch 20 at a time, no big deal. I need to be taught how to spearfish. My wife needs to be taught how to spearfish. But we need to double down on this because, unfortunately, there's nobody going out there taking out the lionfish population. But there's nobody out there going damaging our reefs either. So there's quick video. What can we do? Unfortunately, scuba divers, not that much of anything, but we have the ability to do so much when this is all over. We will get through this. It will get better. It takes time. Guys, hit the like, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, all that stuff. Take care of your neighbors, and hopefully, I will see you on the boat.